Hello, I wanted to give you a 2025 update on my attic leak sealing and reinsulation project. I'm pretty much stopped right now. I started in 2021 and ended it in 2023 for the time being, but I had a question on regarding the caulking. Is it holding up? And so I want to show you an outside wall that's easier to get to. I'll step through here and gracefully, hopefully. And we'll check this outside wall of this bedroom. Trust me, I've checked some other spots, but it's hard to do carrying a phone and, and doing it as a demonstration. But this is a top plate here of an outside wall. This is a ceiling cavity above a bedroom. And so it looks really good. You might imagine, or you probably can imagine, that it was uh, rather difficult, kind of a conundrum, to crawl back into these places but I'll try to give you a little bit of an idea of you know, what I had to overcome. So for those of you that watched my early demonstrations or PowerPoints or videos, I was tired of the draftiness of the house. I was tired of the moisture being on the ceilings in the bedrooms. And I was tired of higher energy bills. I, know, I knew I could improve it. Building scientists will tell you to stop, start at the top of the building and work your way down. Start at the top, work your way down. Well, I ignored that. I did siding, windows, caulking, other things, uh, doors, new doors, but the house was still drafty because I'd never addressed the issue of air leak a stopping or, or leak sealing the attic. You don't want all of that warm air that you paid for to migrate up here in the attic and go out the, the ridge vent. So I finally had enough in 2021 after living here at that time for about 28 years. I've been here 32 years now and, uh, so I tore out all the insulation. I bagged it up. I've left some where it was decent and were hard areas where I couldn't get new bad insulation down to the sheetrock. And you can look back at those at those PowerPoints or pictures if you have any questions. But just to give you an idea to get back here, um, I'm certainly not a giant, but just to crawl back in this space requires, you know, some flexibility. You have to be flexible. You have to be kind of determined to get back here. Um, and that's where the plywood came in handy for me to be able to get back, caulk any tops of walls. So what did I caulk? I, I caulked top plates along the edge. I've caulked uh, tops of shower walls, smoke heads, lights, anywhere there where there was a, you know, air coming up that I could reach. Um, and then huge uh, gaps in the duct around the ductwork. That you saw holes to nowhere unbelievable uh, so anyway crawl back here you know it's not easy but it can be done if you go slowly work slowly work cautiously you don't want to catch a bunch of nails in your head. I did, of course, because there's all kinds of nails that come down from the strand border OSB, uh, as some people will call this. That's correct, too. You can call it strand board, you can call it OSB, whatever you like. So, anyway, in answer to the question, yes, the caulking is holding up very well. I rewrapped the flex duct to give it more R value to lose less energy here. When I'm running warm air in there from the furnace to heat this place, I, I want to leak out as little as possible. But that doesn't mean I leak sealed. I did not leak seal the ductwork. That would require something called aero seal. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go to that expense. But um, I did at least keep the BTUs from escaping the sidewalls of the insulation a little better. But I didn't leak seal it, and I'll show you where I have some more drips, but it's not that big a concern anymore because the plywood's catching it. Right here, you'll see some drips along here. All right. So in the really severe, very severe winter days, today is one degree outside, which is pretty cold, but I don't have any frosting on the uh, strand board that I can see today. None of the nails are frosting. That's a good thing. Once I get below dew point on a cold day and there's moisture in here, it's going to stick to it. But this is a particular difficult portion because of 
the seam. If you can see that seam in the strand board. The other thing I want to remind you of is I didn't really ever have that much moisture up here until I added a whole house humidifier. I have a whole house humidifier and a whole house dehumidifier. I dehumidify in the summertime, I humidify in the wintertime. And I didn't have any moisture issues leaking through to the sheetrock until such time as I added that. But we need comfort and you need humidity in the winter or you're going to be miserable. Static electricity, things are going to, wood, wood uh, furniture is going to crack. Uh, your nasal passages are going to be dry. It's kind of miserable. So now I'm going to turn on the light and uh, we'll shed some light on this project. Ah, yeah, that's nice. A lot of reflective material up here. So just as an example of the overall height of this project, I'm going to bring the camera up and adjust it. And I'm going to bring it out a little bit. I'm going to put this over here. Gracefully. And I'll show you. I'll stand to the scuttle here. This will stay. All right. So coming up out of the scuttle, this is about about banging my head. I can almost stand up in this cavity, almost. This little temperature sensor. So, anywho, there you go. There. Like I said, no regrets. It was a labor of love or temporary insanity, perhaps, that brought me up here. But I don't. I would not have wanted to pay anybody to be up here. That would have been um, not affordable. So, any other questions, you can always email me at powerpointpreacher at gmail.com. If you don't want to put it out there on YouTube as a question, you can comment. Send me an email, I'll answer it. Thanks for watching.